There are two ways by which energy is capable of moving. One of these ways is known as heat and that's what we're going to discuss in this lecture. So if two objects that are at different temperatures are brought in contact with one another, energy will begin to flow from the hotter object to the cooler object until thermal equilibrium is established. Thermal equilibrium simply means that the two objects which were initially at two different temperatures have reached the same temperature. So thermal equilibrium has been reached. So let's suppose we have the following two objects, object number one and object number two. Now object number one is initially at a higher temperature than object number two. So initially the two objects are separated by some distance d. So now let's suppose I take my two objects and I bring them in contact. So I decrease my distance to zero. So now my objects are in contact and energy will begin to flow from the hotter object, from the object with the higher temperature to the cooler object, to the object with the lower temperature. And this energy transfer will continue to take place until thermal equilibrium is reached, until they reach the same exact temperature, at which point energy will stop flowing. So we define heat as the transfer of energy that takes place as a result of a difference in temperature between two or more objects and heat continues until thermal equilibrium is reached. So let's look at a few important units. So we define something known as a calorie with a lowercase c as the amount of energy that is required to increase the temperature of one gram of water by one degree Celsius from 14.5 degrees to 15.5 degrees. We also define something known as a calorie with an uppercase c as the amount of energy that is required to increase the temperature temperature of one kilogram of water by one degree Celsius also from 14.5 to 15.5 degrees Celsius. So that means one calorie or 1000 calories is equal to one calorie with the uppercase C. So 1000 calories is simply one kilocalorie. So because energy is very commonly defined in terms of joules, we have to also talk about the conversion from calories to joules. So it turns out that one calorie with a lowercase c is equal to 4.186 joules of energy and one kilocalorie is equivalent to 4.186 kilojoules of energy. So that means that it takes 4.186 joules of energy to raise the temperature of one gram of water by one degrees Celsius. So let's quickly look at the following example in which we're going to utilize this concept of energy transfer. Suppose you eat food that contains 1000 calories of energy, where the calories is given with the uppercase C. Calculate the vertical distance that you have to climb if you wish to burn those calories. Assume that the mass, your mass, is 85 kilograms. So let's suppose we ingest the food and our body breaks down that food. Now if we don't actually physically exercise, our body will store that food in macromolecules such as carbohydrates and fats. So we want to find out the vertical distance that we have to climb, let's say via staircase, if we wish to burn all those 1000 calories. So first we have to convert calories to joules of energy. So 1000 calories with a capital C is equivalent to 1000 times 
4.186 kilojoules. So that equals 4,186 kilojoules of energy is equivalent to 1,000 calories with a capital C. Now that is also equivalent to 4,186,000 joules of energy. Recall that work is equal to m times g times h, where m is the mass of the object in motion, the person, g is the gravitational constant, and h is our height. It's the change in potential. So we want to find what this h is. So we multiply the mass 80, 85 kilograms by the g 9.8 meters per second squared. Then we divide both sides by that value and we get our height. So the work is equal to this amount of energy. So we have 4,186,000 joules of energy divided by the product of 80 and 9.8 and that gives us the height. So the height is about 5,000 300 meters. So that is about 12 times the height of the Empire State Building.